<coughs> Hello, people. Uh, today, today is a different kind of video. Now, I've realized that I've been making uh, a good, a good lot of videos lately. Um, one of them, well, one of them being well, potentially going to put my Twitch count at risk. But um, I mean, for the point, just to prove a point that if I were to get banned, a permanent ban from something that a female got banned for seven days for that she's literally done live i mean shit i was basically basically it was gonna be me saying twitch or a bunch of simps because well when it comes to the male side of the you know community they tend to be much more fucked and like yeah you're not getting your shit back type shit because you did something minor but then when a girl literally you know gets her doonies beat live on stream you know then people can see it and they only get a seven day ban, you know that shit sus. But no, we're not we're not here to talk about that today though. <clears throat> we're here to talk about YouTube because not that all of this shit is going going off. I know this video I know this shit ain't gonna do nothing. This shit is not gonna do jack shit. Because I mean, well, I don't mind, I'm not a big YouTuber. It's just how it is, but I feel like making this video because I feel like basically talking about my first ever channel that I actually was like hella invested in. This channel I'm I'm, heavy, I'm hella invested into, but the first channel I've ever made. The OGs will know of this channel because they you know they they seen they was there. They was there when it was still there before you know YouTube Susan decided to unrightfully terminate it for no reason. Stop unfocusing. I saw that shit. It's going to happen a good couple times. It don't even matter. But, yeah. Only the OGs will know about this channel. Even the ones that don't even know that I'm still making videos. But on a different channel. Because, you know, YouTube decided to pull the fuck you and terminate it with no actual reasons. No actual, like, warnings or none of that shit. And... Today I'm gonna to talk about the I'm gonna talk about the experience. Now I'm gonna start from the beginning. This channel, like I said, OGs will know this channel because they actually was there when the channel was still alive. You know what I'm saying? The channel was basically called Sentova. It was, it's it's basically Sentova but with numbers replaced with a you know, with a couple you know letters. Like I said, OGs will know what I mean. What what that channel is, and hopefully motherfuckers that seen that channel before and they see this video and they realize hey it's this this man it's this man that made videos you know what I'm that they come back you know what i'm saying get the realization that i was unrightfully terminated with no real reason you know what i'm saying but yeah let me start from the beginning so yeah youtube channel was sent over 221 25 subscribers it was really low but hell it it was it was getting there it was getting somewhere hadn't i still had that channel from that day it actually would have reached probably way more heights than this channel even though this channel is you know closed somewhat close into 800 subscribers this channel was made after determination you know and basically i'm gonna i'm gonna i'm gonna go ahead and say it right now at that time, I was not saying that I was saying some wild shit, but it wasn't shit that I was just gonna be able to get terminated for like that. It's literally just me. It's a, it was basically me saying that the super is fucking trash, and then that the motherfuckers who don't, who the motherfuckers who basically, the motherfuckers who basically just say that the for speed he well no not need for speed he, that. Need for Speed Payback is the worst Need for Speed ever created because of the handling model. And that they won't, you know, it's it's just stupid shit. Shit that makes me cringe because people say that they know about, they know how a Need for Speed game is. And in reality, they don't because they want the game to be more like Forza and Gran Turismo. Which I do say over and over again that if you want a game like that, then why not just play Forza or play Gran Turismo, you see what I'm saying, but when, yeah, we're not here to talk about that, and before anybody say, well, maybe that's why the channel was terminated in the first place, we would never know, because, well, one, they didn't tell me the reason why, they, all they did was give me a blank 
a blink answer of it being community guidelines. But then again, you're going to understand why I'm, I was so upset about it at the time. Especially since how much time I put so much into the video. I mean, not in the video. Into the channel. Now, like I said, the OGs will know this. I never... Well, you pro I'm not going to be able to show it. You've seen it a couple times. You've seen the PC. I mean, you know. I spent money on this. Back then, I had none of this shit. I didn't have a keyboard or two monitors. I did not have a dual monitor. I did not have this thing right here. I didn't have this damn near $3,000 PC. I didn't have none of this. I didn't I didn't have no fucking mix amp, no fucking Astros. I didn't have none of that shit. I didn't had none of that. All I had was a phone. And before somebody be like, yo, you really made your shit on a phone? You, you were goofy. Like, no, nigga. You, if you edited your videos on your phone, every single video, you found loopholes to download your videos because you didn't want to fucking spend money on YouTube. And then, th I think at that time, YouTube didn't even have an option to where uh, you couldn't even download videos straight off the platform to use. You literally had to find loopholes to do it if you wasn't on a desktop of any kind. I had to find loopholes of all kinds that wouldn't, you know, fuck my phone up, give me a malware attack, you know what I'm saying? So many loopholes just to get the video downloaded, edited on the phone, which was a pain in the ass because because not only not only you had to use your fingers, but you had to be as precise as possible depending on the app you was using because a lot of them was booty butt cheeks. But the one I found most comfortable with was InShot, and InShot was the one to go for me. That's where all of them, that's where all of my edited videos during that time came from. And <clears throat> I mean, I did, I made like hell of videos just, and it really wasn't like how my videos are now, where I'm just playing random ass games and shit. It was really just me playing Need for Speed Payback, doing personal best, and then fucking memeing niggas who was. On some bullshit, thinking it was funny, trying to you know be on some bullshit. You know what I'm saying? That type of shit. I was making those kind of videos, which hints where I get you know the idea to use sound effects and all that shit. That's where all of that came from. That was the start of it. And like I said, to all the to all the niggas who make videos off of their phones, like in the way that I did, you know, I give you props because that shows that you are indeed invested in what you're doing if you if you want to if you want to be a youtuber you want to make money doing something that you love which is to make videos for a living and post them on youtube and get that good old green shiny you know what i'm saying that's how you know that you are indeed invested in this shit somebody that say you're not invested in this shit because you doing it on your phone don't listen to them dumb asses because now I'm trying to understand they probably even they probably never grabbed their fucking iPhone this is a fucking 12 menu but for example they probably have the well matter of fact I got an example right here too because it's fucked up they ain't never grabbed their iPhone 7 plus <laughs> They ain't never grabbed the iPhone 7 Plus and literally sat on the fucking bed couch, or whatever, and actually, you know, did this, did this the whole time. Just they, they never sat here and did this the whole time, trying to get the right precise mark every time. They never did that. They never did that in their life. They never. All they, they did that for when they want to text a nigga. But that's it. Um, uh, yeah. Anyway, continuing on. You know, yeah, I basically did all of that on video, on on the phone. Every single thing on the phone. A lot of them, a lot, all the OGs know I did it on the phone because the watermarks and shit. And I tell them that I do edit my videos on the phone. I wasn't going to spend no money on no fucking, on, no, on some fucking, mem like, monthly subscription shit. I struggled so hard to say that. I wasn't going to spend no money on no monthly subscription shit because, well, what would be the point to do that? And I got to constantly pay for it. Like, if I had a lifetime key, that's different. I'll actually pay for a lifetime key. That's why you. That's why I'm using Movavi. And you will never catch me using Adobe because Adobe doesn't have a lifetime key. Adobe has subscription base only. So, I'm never going to use Adobe no, no matter how good Adobe is. I could care. Adobe could probably have every single type of fucking 
transition that I would like to use, filters that I would like to use, a fucking text that I would like to use, and I still choose something like Movavi because Movavi has a lifetime key and Adobe doesn't have a lifetime key. Honestly, I feel well, that it wouldn't actually, it still would, it still would have to like, I mean, it would have to just go through a way. Also, I'm not editing this video. This whole video is going to be raw. I'm not editing shit because what would be the point for me to edit this talking about my first channel that basically brought me onto this YouTube. I always wanted to do YouTube and that channel was the like proof of my dedication of doing YouTube. Now that it's gone though, that, that proof doesn't exist no more. I'm sure all the videos are still there in data form. And had I had I been able to get the channel back, I actually might be able to grab every single video and bring them right back into this channel right here. And y'all be able to actually see like the time. Like and I'm saying time as in like the edit like the shit that I done on the videos, like the fucking transitions you'll be able to tell i did it on the phone too because well one the quality would be shit as fuck <laughs> and then two the fucking fact that i took time out on the phone to split transition like split add transitions certain filters takes some of them i kind of fucked up because well that shit is hella time consuming it's way more time consuming than when you would do it on pc and people know that for a fact but yeah, basic, basically, basically, I was invested in the shit. So I'm do, I'm just making my videos right. I can't remember how it went. I can't remember how I started off, cause it was so long ago. But all I remember is that one day I go on my YouTube. Next thing I know, nothing is loading. My channel ain't loading. I'm like, what the fuck is going on? I got no email or nothing about the fact that it was terminated. I had to bust my ass just to figure this shit out my damn self by having a friend of mine who actually had a desktop of some kind, a laptop basically, to do it for me because I wasn't going to be able to do that on my phone. I literally was just terminated out of nowhere. And before somebody asked if I was checking to see if I had any strikes, over time, I literally checked my shit. No strikes of no kind, bro. No strikes, bro. I had no strikes on the channel. It was just going out of nowhere, bro. It Like that, out of nowhere, bro. Just, I don't know when, but that shit pissed me off because I'm like, bro, maybe YouTube is down. But I'm like, that can't be right because, you know, if YouTube is down, everybody be talking about it. Everybody will be talking about it right now. And then, like, it, it just, it took forever to figure it out. I'm like, why is it terminated? And then I think after so many times of refreshing, I think the message showed up on the thing when I finally clicked on the channel itself and it said that the channel was, that this channel was terminated and whatever shit it said after that. And that shit made me mad because it was like, yo, I had gotten no strikes. How the fuck do I get terminated like that? And yet I got no strikes and then I didn't get no warnings. If I got warnings, then okay. But I ain't getting no fucking strikes. You think that I will you think that I would just keep doing the same shit over and over again if I hadn't gotten a warning for some shit? And then again, I guarantee you the warning wouldn't have been something real for real. It, it would have just been something so blink, so non-understanding, so so like so blindfully like dumb like bro is you gonna tell me or not like bro, it, it was so it was frustrating back there at that during that moment so yeah i had to get my friend who had a fucking laptop that you know could do it for me because she was able to actually go into it desktop wise and you know try to get to him and basically Basically, they came back with the most, probably the most dumb, like like I said, the most blink, most stupidest thing ever. Motherfucker said that the, the channel was terminated because of a violation in the community gun laws. And I'm like, <clears throat> see, it would have been better if you told 
me what the fuck was on the community guidelines it was. And that shit pissed me off because it's like, bro, how am I supposed to know that it was terminated in the first place and then know what it was terminated for? Commun- that, that answer that they give told me nothing. All that told me was that, oh, they just won't tell me the actual answer. Like, if they just told me what it was. Then okay, maybe I like I would have known what it is, and guess what? I would have actually fought for it too, way more than what it I would what I was fighting for back then because bro, I had no actual resources to d- combat this bullshit. All I had was a phone. There was no way I was gonna be able to get successful trying to get my shit back from a like through a phone, bro. And then I'm like, you no, know, I, I basically like had her like trying to get it back for me. You know, have her ask, ask if they could reinstate the channel back and shit like that. Motherfucker said, no, we're not going to do that. <laughs> Motherfucker said, we're not going to reinstate that. We're not going to reinstate the channel that we purposely terminated without even giving you a actual answer as to why you was terminated. But in fact, a answer that you won't even be able to understand because we don't like to give a full answer to creators who either don't have the necessities for that big mind or just just, just random shit like you see what I'm saying it's like bro like I said if I know what it was I would have understood that and I would have still fought I would have fought for it way harder because bro I put so much time in that channel like I said the OGs will know all the OGs will know that I put so much time on that channel bro all the hours of editing on the phone, like I said, y'all, y'all motherfuckers who cry about a motherfucker that have poor quality, and then they have all these crazy ass edits. They cry about how bad the shit looks and all that. Y'all don't understand that if it, it's probably on the phone. I mean, there are some that's like just straight up recorded off of the fucking camera, but I mean like, I mean like straight up downloaded it from sketchy areas edit it and put in the best quality possible that the phone can produce spend hours uploading because that shit is guaranteed longer than when you upload a video from a pc or a laptop that shit takes forever to do bro and you have to keep your phone open just for the shit to keep well at least I did because you know I had I had shitty ass phones and all that. And like like that shit was a pain in the ass. I put hours and days. I don't know if I put I I definitely put I had to have put in longer than a year in that channel. It was only 220-something subscribers, and it would have went somewhere hadn't it still been alive till this day. Now, if I were to just get the channel back, that shit won't even, I won't even be able to log back into it because I don't remember the login. That channel is gone, bro. I stopped using the email because I'm like, what's the point? Because I, I think at that time, too, I couldn't even get, I couldn't even get into the emails. Well, I, I mean, I could. But none of the, like, I couldn't get into none of the shit that was sent to the email. I couldn't get any of that shit. I don't know why, but I couldn't. And that shit was making me mad. So, that's when I made another one. That's when I made a new email. I made a new channel. I started off from the ground up, bro. I spent five, and you won't never understand. I spent five years on this channel, bro. I spent five years from evolving from a phone to you know whatever the fuck that laptop is it's probably it's on the bed somewhere don't mind the mess bro but from the phone to the laptop to now a fucking pc nigga i had bro i i basically leveled myself up on this channel and i actually would have up i would have did the exact same thing on the main channel hadn't it actually still been alive to this day but no we get motherfuckers like basically we get motherfuckers like Susan who thinks she knows that she who thinks that she's doing something right on YouTube. In reality, she's just doing nothing but fucking the shit up, bro. Where the fuck she's hiring is, bro. It's so it, like these motherfuckers don't know what they doing, bro. I'm not even gonna pull the. I'm not gonna pull the the. Oh, I'm just cause it's gonna black type shit because I know damn well it's not that. 
It's just the fact that I could I can't combat this shit because the fact that I'm not a big enough YouTuber with no, you know, no YouTube rep. What makes you think a YouTube rep gonna support me in my in my situation? You know what I'm saying? They gonna they gonna look at me and laugh at me. I'm like, oh, look at this, look at this dude, bro. He think he, he think he gonna he think he gonna be able to get someone like me to help him out. He 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 can't even he can't even make money off his videos. You know what I'm saying? Like they're not gonna look at me and act and actually help. They gonna look at me and laugh, bro, because I'm I don't got I don't have nowhere near the amount of notoriety and. All of that shit just to have a YouTube rap on my side and and fight for me for this shit. I have to do this shit by myself. I have to find ways to do it by myself, bro. And if not by myself, then with people who can have somewhat of a connection to help. I ain't, I don't have no YouTube, bro. I have none of that shit, bro. I, I'm not a, I'm not like I'm not Gideon, nigga. I'm not Gideon. I don't got no fucking YouTube rap of none of that. I ain't got no, I don't got no big, no other big YouTubers who can actually help me in my situation or none of that. It's literally just me, bro. It's literally just me and me alone, bro. Every single video I've done has all been me, bro. I'm, I'm amazed. And it kind of did start off from me looking at fucking Corey's videos because that nigga don't, that nigga has no help. He does his shit by himself because it's like what he says, it's all, it's the authenticity Oh, the, I know I sounded that shit wrong, but the uh, authenticity, where the fuck, is basically just a product of what you can make on your own, bro. It's what you can do on your own. And that's why I make all my videos on myself. I Sometimes I be burnt the fuck out because I could come up with a video idea, but I be so, skept I be so skeptical of doing it because... It depends if it's gonna flop or not. In some, in most cases, it does. Like with new games, shit flops. It don't really get no actual like views, like compared to other videos. It get like four, five, six, and shit will not be touched after that. It might get a little bit more, but then after that, it won't. It won't do shit. And that's when I. That's when I told myself that I wouldn't make new. I wouldn't make videos of brand new games that come out. On that day, because every time that happens, it really, it really won't, it really don't help me in that situation. The only thing, the only way it would help is if I put some clickbait ass title that gets by, and then people click on it, and then the whole title shows up. Like the, I, I didn't do it on purpose, but it was, it was an actual idea that I came up with because I wanted to go back on the game before the game came out. And it was it's the Hot Wheels Unleashed game. Now we all know that there's that Hot Wheels beat that was the inspiration of Hot Wheels Unleashed because Hot Wheels Unleashed is literally Hot, Hot Wheel car, Hot Wheel toy cars. Some of them are like some of them are like accelerators. Well, most of them are accelerators to be honest. But it's I mean the Diora two is. A uh, Highway 35 version, not a not a not an accelerators version, but basically I made a video going back on Hot Wheels beat that and playing it, and then having and then I titled the video Hot Wheels Unleashed before the Hot Wheels Unleashed, and then the actual name of the game Hot Wheels beat that at the end, and that that got a lot of views. Probably not in terms of duration, but in clicks, definitely because that shit was like two, probably sitting at two, no, three some, three hundred or something, three hundred or something views at that time. And I, I don't know the dislike number because, well, um, YouTube deleted that and I refuse to go through such links just to find out how many dislikes a certain video that, that I have has, like, bro, I don't feel like doing none of that, so... Yeah, started up, and then like you know, started off this channel. This channel went by so many different names, but the final name is, of course, what you see right now. This this is basically the final name, and yeah. I'm gonna stick. I'm gonna stick to it for a little while. I might change it to something a little more like smaller, but it just it depends because when the last time I changed it to that specific name, for some reason, 
for some reason, I guess I was somehow blacklisted from the name. Well, not blacklisted from the name, but blacklisted from YouTube in terms of, like, my content wasn't getting nowhere. I couldn't, like, niggas wasn't going to be able to search me up and, you know, know that it's me or just find my channel easily. Even, well, through, through links, yeah, but how many, how many motherfuckers actually going to click the link or something that's YouTube? Just to, you know, subscribe to me when I ask them if they could, you know, so check out my shit, you know what I'm saying? How many people is going to actually do that, you see what I'm saying? So, <clears throat> yeah, final product in the name. It might, it might change later, it might not, but, yeah, let's, five years, I spent five years on this channel. You won't believe me, but I, I literally spent five years on this channel. It's probably four still, or something like that, coming close to five, I don't know. But you can literally go look at the date that the channel was made, period. And you'll be able to tell that it is indeed just that long that I've put Tom in this fucking channel. And I still have my main channel that Susan YouTube unrightfully terminated. And unrightfully gave information as to why it was terminated. And, unri and unrightfully declined giving it back despite me not knowing what the fuck it was terminated for. You know, like, that shit made me so mad. Because I still have memories. I, bro, and that's another thing. I had so many memories on that shit of certain videos I made where I just, I cherished them because they shit, it, it was just that, it was just that memorable for me. And just for YouTube to just terminate out of nowhere and not even tell me the reason why and decline giving it back to me. Knowing that they're in the wrong completely because they won't even tell me why it's terminated. For me to make an actual, like, case that I won't do it again type shit. Like, actual, uh, like, you know what I'm saying? They they wouldn't do that shit. And that shit made me so bad to this day. It made me mad to this day. I kind of feel emotional about it now because it's like, bro, it was my first channel. I put so much time into that shit. That's what brought my editing shit up. That's what brought, that's what brought my editing skills up because... Like I said, I was doing that shit on the phone, and that shit was a pain in the ass. But now I can do it on PC. I can just take my fucking mouse. You probably can't even see. I can take my fucking mouse and just do it that way. And I already know what to do. Like, bro, I spend a lot of time on my shit. And just for someone like, and just for YouTube to just straight up do it to do me to do me like that, like, bro, that shit made me so mad. Like at one at that point in time, I actually wanted to stop making videos, but the desire to make videos never left me, and it it bugged me so much that bro, you gotta start making videos, man. You know you can't stop making videos because it's what you want to do. It's fun. You want to make you want to make money doing this someday. You know what I'm saying? I don't care if I'm a big YouTuber. I just want to be able to be in a position to make money doing what I love. While at the same time, be assured that I will have the defense possible to, you know, combat such things like this where my channel will get unrightfully terminated and then I can't get it back because they won't tell me the reason why it was terminated and none of that shit. So, to Susan, great job for, you know... Bringing that shit onto yourself for doing so much fuckery to the you know YouTube platform because ever since you stepped in, that's when the shit started falling apart. And I'm saying this because it's true. This is when the shit starts falling apart. You probably started hiring dumbass motherfuckers who basically want to be on fucking Deadpool slash fucking uh what's that nigga name from Demon Slayer? The main enemy. I forgot his name already, bro. Kabuto G. The fucking, basically, Deadpool and a, com a combination of Kabushiji, bro. You basically hiring niggas like that on your fucking shit to do the job and can't even do the job right. Because instead of doing it right, they do it wrong on purpose. They enact a fucking will to literally downplay on certain, on certain people who don't have the actual de defense to fucking fight against this shit. And only you can change that by firing these goofy ass niggas and hiring smart ass niggas that know not to do shit like this. But it's Susan. We will never know if that's going to happen because Susan and her gummy ass gums literally ain't going to do nothing but make it worse. And making this video ain't going to prove no point either. But I mean, like I said, it's not going to go. I mean, it's not going to go anywhere. I just wanted to speak on it because it's like, 
No, oh, it's just, oh, it's just flashbacks. Vietnam flashbacks, you know what I'm saying? <clears throat> so, yeah, that's, that's, that's literally the video. It's just me talking about my first ever channel that I actually would have went somewhere had it not been molested and, you know, got his cheeks took by Susan and YouTube because Susan wants to hire motherfuckers that don't, that wants to be evil with this shit rather than smart and being an actual, like, you know, spokesperson or whatever the fuck, you know, just being motherfuckers that they can do the job right. Not motherfuckers who can just sit there and because niggas don't know who they are, that they can just out of nowhere just take nigga shit down and laugh at it because it's there because they have the power to do so so that's that's it so i catch y'all i'll catch y'all later I'm, I'm i'm make i'm still making i'm still making a video i'm planning on doing another fucking part two of my techo shit for pc i don't know when it's gonna come out but it's gonna come out just don't know when it's just uh just streaming a lot on I'm trying to stream with a, a lot on Twitch but I'm also making videos a lot too so yeah I'll catch y'all later <laughs> and to Susan you're evil <laughs>